We are all aware that celebrities profit from their talents and popularity. However, their earnings are not restricted to their professions. Aside from being successful in their chosen fields, most celebrities also generate money by pursuing other business ventures. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we will look at some of the celebrities and their side businesses. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video to know what side businesses these celebrities own. Justin Timberlake We all know that in 2011, the former member of NSYNC and current solo artist invested in MySpace, obtaining the title of creative director. Timberlake founded the highly sought-after venue Southern Hospitality with his two friends. Southern Hospitality is a restaurant in New York City that serves up fresh Memphis beefy flavors and it is now set up in four locations. Whoopi Goldberg Goldberg, a veteran actress and comedian, has founded Whoopi and Maya that focuses on providing medical marijuana to women who are experiencing menstruation cramps. This company started by offering four products at California medical marijuana shops, which were balm, tincture, sipping chocolate, and bath soak. Goldberg explained her new role as a gontrepreneur in an interview with Vanity Fair, citing her adult granddaughters who suffer from severe cramps as one of the reasons for her decision. Beyonce Beyonce wasn't satisfied with selling more than 160 million albums. She founded a sportswear line, Ivy Park, with a British businessman, Sir Philip Green. The singer is enthusiastic about fashion and fit. In an interview with Elle, she said, My goal with Ivy Park is to push the boundaries of athletic wear to support and inspire women who understand that beauty is more than your physical appearance. True beauty is in the health of our minds, hearts, and bodies. I know that when I feel physically strong, I am mentally strong, and I wanted to create a brand that made other women feel the same way. Mark Wahlberg Actor Mark Wahlberg teamed up with his two brothers Paul, a classically trained chef, and Donnie, a singer and actor, to launch Wahlburgers, a restaurant and bar. The first site outside of Boston in Hingham, Massachusetts opened in 2011. The Wahlberg brothers weren't just in the back kitchen for this business. They were also in the spotlight on an A&E reality show that captures the trials and decisions that come with launching and maintaining a restaurant. Since then, more sites have opened in Toronto, Las Vegas, and New York City. And that's not even counting the massive expansion planned for 2016 in seven states. Jessica Alba as a mother of two daughters, Jessica Alba is passionate about protecting her children from harmful chemicals and consumer goods, which is why she co-founded The Honest Company in 2011. Diapers, nipple balm, vitamins, and detergent are the few among the company's diverse range of consumer items, which can be obtained online as well as in over 4,400 retail locations such as Whole Foods and Target. People seem to be unable to get enough of the high-quality goods, and as a result, sales in 2015 exceeded $150 million, and the company is now worth over $1 billion. Ashton Kutcher Kutcher may have acted a dumb on that 70s show, but he is super smart to know what the next great thing is. Kutcher co-founded A-Grade Investments in 2010, a venture capital firm that invests in startups in need of cash flow and helps them expand. The company has invested in Spotify, Uber, Fab, Airbnb, and several others with money, great aspirations, and a seal of approval. Sandra Bullock Her mother, who educated her to be skeptical of chemicals and pesticides, taught her about nutrition from a young age. Bullock chose to share her eco-friendly views on the necessity of good, healthy foods with the rest of the world. Bullock's first restaurant, Best Bistro, launched in 2006. She also opened Walton's Fancy and Staple, a bakery deli flower shop hybrid where her pastry chef sister, Jacine, devised a portion of the menu. Sadly, the bistro closed in the fall of 2015, but Walton's is still going strong. Jay-Z Let's face it, Jay-Z is a billionaire with a clothing line, a record label, a streaming service, and a number of other ventures. One of his projects, the 4040 Club, is located in Manhattan's Flatiron area. The club, which first opened its doors in 2003, has an extravagant decor, a sports bar-like atmosphere, different membership levels, and even a Jay-Z lounge. On the club's website, Jay-Z remarked, I love sports and wanted to create an environment that is conducive to match my lifestyle, while watching the games at the same time. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. 
If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time!